It's the Weather Extreme video. It's the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 28th of April. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather relatively quiet today and tomorrow, at least on our end of the state. Next chance of showers and storms will be at some point over the weekend. Let's go in and check it out this morning. That's the water vapor satellite view. Things very calm as this day begins. Up here over the northern part of the state, at least. We had some showers and storms yesterday, mainly south of Birmingham. That's well to the east. We do note the radar very active on the Gulf Coast, a cluster of severe storms over coastal Mississippi. Moving east, that'll be affecting Mobile and Baldwin counties early this morning. And a few scattered showers over southwest Alabama. But again, up here, things are quiet. Starting off today, mostly in the 60s, Birmingham at 68. We'll expect a high in the 80s again today. Around the nation, things are pretty quiet. That's the watch warning map. Convective outlooks, first off for today and tonight, standard slight risk for parts of North Carolina and off to the west over parts of Texas and Oklahoma. In Alabama, there is a marginal severe weather risk. The area is in darker green uh, later today. But I really think any stronger storms will likely be uh, south of U.S. 80, south of Montgomery this afternoon. Tomorrow, the standard slight risk over Texas, Oklahoma, and around the Arklatex, a marginal risk nosing into extreme southwest Alabama, but I think most of our state will be warm and dry tomorrow. And then on day three, which is Saturday, a marginal risk for Houston, Lake Charles, Memphis, Jackson, up to almost St. Louis, and there could be some thunder here, but no severe weather expected. This is the rain for the next five days. Rain amounts about one inch valid through Tuesday morning. The bigger numbers off to the west. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock. New upper low developing over the southwest. And down below that, a surface boundary creeping through here. And again, you can see drier air moving into north Alabama. This is the high-res HER model. Today at 5 o'clock, nothing for the northern half of the state. Showers and storms, again, mainly along and south of U.S. 80. Could there be a shower? Maybe this far north, yes, but I'd say it's unlikely. So a pretty good chunk of the day for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, rain-free. Highs, low 80s in most spots. Tomorrow, the new system off to the west gets its act together. There could be a shower down to the south, but again, I think for the northern half of the state, the day will be dry, very warm, mid to upper 80s, one of the warmest days so far this year. And check out the snow falling back in the mountains of Colorado and Wyoming. Saturday, the surface low is near Wichita. And again, uh, there could be a few scattered showers around on Saturday, maybe some thunder, but I don't think it rains all that much. This is the four-kilometer NAM ballot Saturday at 1 o'clock. And it shows a band of uh, showers kind of creeping into West Alabama. And then this is Sunday. Surface low north of us. Showers and storms should be a little more active. But again, the, the I just don't think it rains all day. Uh, it's race day at Talladega. This is the NAM at 84 hours. Ballot at 1 o'clock Sunday. Really not showing all that much, so... I think there's a pretty fair chance they get the race in, although a delay is certainly possible. And severe weather looks very unlikely on Sunday with a few showers and storms about. Monday of next week, a drier air mass drops in here. Highs go back in the 70s. Tuesday, for the most part, looks rain-free with mid-70s. And this is Wednesday, and we're still dry. Other runs have shown a wave in here with a chance of showers, so there's some inconsistency here. But if that's right, the weather will be dry and pleasant. And this is a week from today, Thursday, May 5th. Big trough in the east. And if that's right, the weather cool and dry. Could see some 40s during the morning hours late next week. This is the end of the forecast period, Saturday, May 7th. Ridging here, big trough well to the west. And we are rain-free, if this verifies. Check out the numbers. I don't think we hit 90 tomorrow, but upper 80s are certainly possible. 
But next week, highs dropping back in the 70s and lows dropping back in the 50s with lower humidity, and that will feel pretty good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side. ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.